Ladies and gentlemen, hats off to the finalists for Large Business of the Year. Gordon Foods is not as quiet as it might look. The 9 p.m. shift is just warming up for a busy night. This is Food Logistics. Gordon Food just surpassed a billion dollars a year in business. Foods you know arrive during the day and are being loaded onto trucks to ship tonight. Much of it is cold, refrigerated, or frozen. Gordon Food employees have raised over $200,000 for Habitat for Humanity. And Gordon's For a Cause program matches employee contributions to charities that employees choose. Food that leaves here tonight is going out to feed people in restaurants all over BC tomorrow. They'll fill and move maybe a hundred trucks before daybreak. You want big? Ideal Welders has three buildings for big. Pipes and vessels. They're known for building big steel, getting it out the door and wherever it needs to go. Like the form pipe that would carry the ammonia to freeze the water for the Olympic bobsled track at Whistler. Jim Longo started Ideal Welding in the 60s did a lot of work in forestry and is still on the job running Ideal Welders today. And they've just torn the end off one of their buildings so they can expand it. The newer of two buildings at Marcon Metal Fab in Tilbury, cutting a composite with a jet of water, a plasma cutter. Innovation is one of the company's four core values. Metal Fab is growing as other fabrication shops in Canada close. Marcon does big stuff, particularly bridges. This will be the suicide prevention fence on the refurbished Burrard Street Bridge. Marcon raised over $10,000 for cancer research in the last 12 months. Ari Bernstein is the owner of Marcon Metal Fab. Ladies and gentlemen, your finalists for Large Business of 2016. 